Hey YouTube, today we're going to make zinc sulfide, aka glow-in-the-dark powder. We'll be doing the quick and dirty method. Now, I want to be honest and upfront, this is not commercial glow-in-the-dark powder, the kind that you can charge and it will last, you know, a couple hours. This is at best, just so you can say to your friends, I've made some glow-in-the-dark powder. Also, this reaction is great to show kids, as it has a pyrotechnic aspect in the making. So let's get started. To begin with, you're going to need the following. A spatula, a mortar and pestle, some copper dust, this is optional, sulfur powder, and some zinc powder. You're also going to need a heat resistant plate. In this case, I use the bottom of a clay pot. Okay, so you're going to want to place 65.38 grams of zinc in the mortar. Um, I'm not going to be doing the stoichiometric amounts for this experiment here since I've made tons of this, and I just want to use a small amount to show the process. However, you'll need to use the correct amount uh, if you want the process, if you want the effect to actually work. If you try to eyeball this, uh, you'll get nothing. So now we want to add 32.6 grams of sulfur. I haven't tried this with like cheap sulfur that you can buy at say like a uh, Walmart or Flowers of Sulfur or anything like that. I've always just used sulfur that I bought as a reagent. So, but I think the other will work fine if you want to give it a try. Okay, now we're going to add some copper. You only need a very, very, very small amount of copper here. It just acts as an impurity and it helps the glow in a dark effect, uh, especially to try to make it last a little longer. Okay, so now you want to mix this stuff really well. You need to get all the clumps. Sometimes sulfur forms small clumps. You need to get all the clumps out and just try to get it all blended together as best as possible. If it's not blended together really well, the end product will be, some of it will be glowing the dark and other parts of it won't be. It's difficult to get uniformity in this reaction as it is, and I think you'll see that later. Okay, so now we're going to add it to our heat resistant plate. Try to get it all in one small pile. Don't spread it out. Okay, now once you've got a small pile, you can go ahead and grab your plate and head outside. Now in a safe place, you can lay this down and you're going to want to use a torch like this to set it off. Okay, and that worked out well. As you can see, it kind of splatters in places, so take precaution. And now you have your zinc sulfide glow-in-the-dark powder. You're going to need to use a UV type flashlight just like this to activate it. Now, my camera doesn't pick this up real well. It does work better than what you're actually going to see. Um, however, like I said earlier, don't expect the world out of this because it's just doesn't work that well. I'm sure there's a way to purify this stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching. 